Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna Morrow and I'm an interior designer located in Washington, D.C. And on today's video, I'm gonna share with you 10 different ways you can add color to any room in your home. It's the start of the year, which means it's peak season for homeowners all over the world to make some upgrades to their homes, whether it's a full out renovation or just repainting a space in the home. If that sounds like you and you're in the market for a little facelift in your house, keep watching as I share these 10 different ways you can add color. The reason I'm talking about adding color though is because this year is the year of bold, dominant hues. Whether it's a deep plum or a nice rich emerald green, 2024 is all about color and maximalist design. If you're not sure what maximalist design is, it's adding a lot of personality to a space. There are no rules when it comes to maximalist design. It's all about adding colors and textures and various shapes to any room in your house. Whether or not that sounds like you, that is okay because these 10 different ways I'm gonna share with you can be as big and strong as maximalist design or more conservative and just a little dollop of color in your house. So let's get into them. All right, let's start with the low hanging fruit, y'all. Paint the walls. Paint all four walls, but don't forget about the fourth wall, which is actually the ceiling. I know it sounds a little intimidating, but like I told you, it's the year of going big and bold. Maximalist design is in right now, so don't be afraid to paint all four walls, the ceiling, and maybe even add the trim. Again, I know it sounds scary, but add the crown molding, the baseboards. If there's a chair rail, paint that too. Paint it all one color and watch that room come to life in a way that you never imagined. If you're scared and you need some help and some assistance from a professional, I invite you to visit morrowdesignstudios.com where you can inquire about our services and we can help lead you in the right direction so you're not making a design decision that you end up regretting. Number two, add wallpaper. Wallpaper is not like it was 30, 40 years ago. Wallpaper these days has so much flavor, y'all. There's so many different colors and textures and motifs inside of wallpaper these days. You can add it to all four walls in your room, just the ceiling or just an accent wall, but have fun with wallpaper. If that's still a little intimidating, you're not ready to commit to wallpaper that's pasted onto your wall, opt for some peel and stick wallpaper. If you watch my living room home tour video, that's actually what I did. It was a peel and stick wallpaper that I installed by myself. So I was able to save on cost for the materials because wallpaper that's paste is more expensive than peel and stick. And I was able to save on installation costs. So if you want wallpaper, but you don't want to commit to anything too permanent or anything that could damage your walls, go for peel and stick. Number three, paint your interior doors. I'm sure you've seen on Pinterest or Instagram, a lot of people are painting their doors matte black. It's a very nice way to add sophistication and maturity to a space, but maybe you wanna be a little more daring or a little different, add a color to the interior doors, whether it's the outside of the door or even the inside. The inside is a nice way to add color to a room and also just adds a nice element of surprise. You see a room from the outside, the door is white. You enter it, the door is a completely different color. Try playing with this in a space like a powder room or a bathroom or even your bedroom. Again, it's just a fun way to add an element of surprise to a space, whether it's you entering the room or a guest entering the powder room. When they close that door after seeing it white on the outside and they see a different color on the inside, it's a nice wow factor that is unforgettable. Number four, window treatments. Purchase ready-made window treatments through a store like Crate and Barrel or West Elm, or you can get some custom made. One of my favorite vendors to shop for fabric for window treatments or seating is Schumacher. I'll link to them in the description below. But if you wanna go the custom route, go with Schumacher. They have different textures and fabrics and colors. Get your custom window treatments made either with curtains or Roman shades and watch the room come to life. Number five, add it through your medium size room accents. And these are items like an area rug, window treatments once again, and throw pillow covers. These are items that you theoretically should be able to swap in and out easily. Maybe not area rugs as much as window treatments and pillow covers, but again, you want these medium sized items to be places where you can add color so that if you ever get tired of it and you want something different, you can swap them out without breaking the bank. I actually get my pillow covers from Etsy. They range from inexpensive to very expensive. It depends on the quality you're looking for. You can also get area rugs from higher end stores or even more affordable stores like a Bed Bath & Beyond. Turn to your medium accents to add some color to your space and it's not something that you are committed to for the long term, just like with the peel and stick wallpaper. Number six, add color through your wall decor. Get yourself a canvas from a store like At Home or Home Goods, or go higher in and shop at an art gallery and get yourself a nice piece of sculptural art or a nice print. You can even shop for photos from your favorite photographer. I've done this before. I purchased photos directly online from a photographer that I love. Get it printed, 
framed and hung up and it's another really nice way to add some color to your space and support a local artist. If you're interested in going the DIY route when it comes to your wall decor, that's an option too. You can take a photo of something beautiful that you see outside and again get it printed, framed, and hung up in your home or get yourself a nice large canvas. Oversized art can be really expensive. DIY that, get a large canvas from a store like Michael's, grab some paint and have at it in the garage outside. Get your family and friends to join in on it and you can hang it up in your home as your own piece of art. Number seven, let's go down to smaller items like your tabletop decor. This can be a vase, this can be candles, or even a coffee table book. Many of my clients ever consider this, but coffee table books can actually add color to a space through their covers and their binding on the side. You can add it to a bookshelf, or an actual coffee table, but again, consider coffee table books as a way to add some color and flair to a space and don't overlook things like candles or vases. Amazon is my go-to place for coffee table books, but you can also find some at a store like TJ Maxx or Home Goods. They usually have a really good variety at an affordable price. Number eight, florals. Florals can make a really nice statement in a home, especially seasonally. Add some faux flowers to a vase in your entryway, your dining table, or even your kitchen counter. I like to switch mine out seasonally, so in the spring and summer I go for faux florals like cherry blossoms, a nice touch of blush and pink to my home. Then in the fall months I like to add magnolias to get some greenery in the house, plus some brown hues. And then finally during the winter season I like to add faux pine stems. Number nine, bathroom and bedroom textiles. Let's say you're not ready to go all in with color in your house yet, you can go the more conservative route and add some color by way of decorative towels in your bathroom or powder room and then for your bedroom, you can add it through your bedding, your sheets, your duvet cover, and even your throw pillow covers. And my last one, number 10, is tile. Y'all, like I said, it's the year of maximalist design and color. Immerse your bathroom or a kitchen backsplash in a tile that contains color. Go for a solid color mosaic tile or a subway tile that infuses different hues from a particular color family, but don't be afraid to play with color in these spaces, especially in a bathroom that's a little more hidden in your home. Add some colorful tile to the floor, to the shower, or even as a backsplash for your sink. This will add not only color, but dimension and character to your bathroom. All right, y'all, that's it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you are into interior designer entrepreneurship content, I invite you to hit that subscribe button because more content is on the way, including behind the scenes of client design projects, tutorials, and tours of room in my home as I redesign it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.